All right, let's use the thin lens equations to see how, uh, how good my drawing is, okay? We can calculate where the image should have shown up and how big it's supposed to be uh, to see how good my uh, drawing with ballpoint pen was here. Um, so let's go for it. So here's the first lens. We've got a focal length of plus three. We've got an object distance that we need to measure because we have to know where we put an object. Um, and it looks like this is six again. Yeah, let's use six. So our SO for the first lens is gonna be um, positive six. Um, so let's go for it. So you'd say one over SO plus one over SI is one over F. I'll move that over. And so let's go for it. So you get one over six plus one over the thing we don't know equals one over three. I'm gonna go a little quicker this time, because look, a sixth plus a sixth would be two sixths, or one third. Um, so that means that this thing needs to be a six. So SI equals positive six. Um, and then you get the uh, magnification, which is minus SI over SO, or minus a positive six over the SO was also six. So you get negative one. So the magnification for lens one was negative one. So what's being predicted here is, I put this object here six centimeters away, it says the image should have shown up six centimeters on the other side and upside down, um, and be about the same size because the magnification was negative one. So it's negative meaning upside down and one meaning 100% of the size that it was before. So, so far my drawing's looking pretty good, okay? Now, here is the most important part, okay? So if you're napping, time to wake up, all right? Wake up alert, here we go, right? This is the moment, this is the hardest part. We're gonna run the thin lens equation on lens two. Now, here you notice the object for lens two, it's on the, like, what I'll call the wrong side. It's downstream. So this is that rare beast where you get what's called a negative object distance. We have not encountered this yet, okay? We're seeing it just now for the first time, um, right? So let's do this, right? So the idea is that this predicted, or this image was supposed to be six centimeters away from the first lens, okay? Well, let's see how far apart these lenses were to begin with. They are 4.4 apart. So this distance here is 4.4. Okay, well, so the deal is, if this distance was supposed to be six, but these are 4.4 apart, that means that this leftover distance here, because this whole thing needs to be six, this must then be 1.6, okay? This distance. So if that's the case, then our object distance which is from the center of this lens to this object, that needs to be minus 1.6. Okay, so what I'm doing is, the reason I'm using this number instead of just measuring is I'm trying to use like the theoretical prediction all the way from the beginning. So in other words, I'm trying to run the calculation as though we had never even made the drawing, okay? So um, the idea is that, again, the predicted image position from the first lens was six centimeters this way but these are 4.4 apart, so that means this must be an additional 1.6 beyond this lens. Okay, so this is the most important part. This is why the, the object distance is negative because this is on the wrong side, okay? So you may even wanna replay that part of the video because that's the toughest part. Now that we have that though, the rest of this will go pretty easily. So now you just run, you can go on autopilot and just run the um, thin lens equation again. So we'll say one over SO, one over negative 1.6, that rarest of beasts, that negative object distance, plus one over SI equals one over, now this object, or this diverging lens had a negative focal length, negative three. So now it's time to pull out the calculator, SI equals. What I would type in the calculator, or what I will type is negative one third and then plus one over 1.6. Why plus? Because I'm gonna bring this guy over here algebraically. So it'd be minus one over three, and then plus one over 1.6. So let's do that. Minus one divided by three, plus one divided by 1.6. You get this number, 0.292, but then I gotta take the reciprocal of it, because so far it's one over SI. So I'm gonna take the reciprocal, 
x to the negative 1. So we get uh, 24 over 7, um, otherwise known as 3.43. Um, so I get um, positive 3.43, which is supposed to be about where this, uh, so, so in other words, the final image is supposed to be 3.43 centimeters um, downstream. So we can just see how well I did with the drawing. Let's evaluate my drawing ability. Uh, looks like I was, uh, what I should have done, it's not where I put his legs, but it should have been up from this crossing point. So what I should have done is have the center of the legs be about here. Here, so we'll kind of shift him over. That's where the bottom of the legs would have actually been. Um, so let's see how well that lines up with 3.43. Um, not bad, that's more like four, kind of bad, not too bad. It's saying it should have shown up about here if I'd have done a perfect drawing, but instead it was here. All right, so 3.43 that way. Um, and then now let's check the magnification. The magnification for lens two is supposed to be minus SI over SO. Um, so minus, well SI was 3.43, so minus, and then we'll put 3.43 over, SO was negative 1.6. So magnification for lens 2 is 3.43 divided by 1.6, doing that on a calculator, I get 2.14, positive, 2.14. Okay. Now what this means is 2.14, that's the factor by which lens 2 you know, changed its object. Well, the object for lens 2 was this. So if you blow this up by 2.14, you get this, right? Notice this is positive, so that means that we didn't flip the input of lens 2. We gave lens 2 an upside down thing, and we still got an upside down thing. So that's why this ends up being positive, right? So now to finish this problem off, if you look at the, the system as a whole, m total, all right, that's going to be the product of m1 and m2. Now before we calculate it, let's anticipate. Our input to the system was an object this big. Our output was something more than twice as big and upside down. So the output should be, the, the total magnification should be negative because this thing got flipped, and it should be larger than one, um, in absolute value anyway, because it's larger, it's larger than the original thing. Well, so let's try it. Well, M1, if you remember, that was negative one. So that's what the first transformation was from the first lens. You, you put this input in and it makes it negative one the size of what it was before. And then M2 is plus 2.14. And when you multiply those together, you get negative 2.14, right? Well, that makes sense. You started with this thing and you warp it by a factor of negative 2.14. So it's 214% it's as big and it's upside down. Um, so you can see that this kind of checks out. Um, so overall evaluating the quality of my drawing here, um, you know, I had a little bit of a margin of error here with where the where the object was, but it did it predicted uh, um, that I was supposed to be 3.4 down this way, and I guess just because of my little bit of jankiness in my ballpoint pen drawing, I was off by a little bit. Um, I got about four-ish centimeters, and then this thing should have blown up by a factor of like 2.14. Um, so what? This looks to be about three centimeters tall. So if I say three times 2.14 to see how big this should have been. This ultimately should have been like 6.4 centimeters tall. So again, just I'm just evaluating the quality of my drawing. It should have been only about maybe 6.4, maybe this tall. So instead of being this tall, I got this tall. So you can see like my drawing is like ever so slightly off. Um, but point is the, the, the numbers actually tell you what you would have gotten if you had made an absolutely perfect drawing. Um, so that's how you run a system with two lenses. Take home message in this one was this was this rare case when we had a, a negative object distance for the second lens because the image from the first lens ended up downstream or on the wrong side of the second one and that leads the object distance for the second lens to be negative.